In this demonstration, I'm going to take a look at creating a sawmill sign using various 2D toolpaths. Here we have our simple created vectors. I'm going to switch over to the 3D view and toggle on my vector visibility by selecting this icon here so I can do all of my work within the 3D view. First toolpath I'm going to do is an area clearance toolpath. So I'm going to select my sawmill text in the 3D view, shift select the border around the edge, then coming over to my 2D view, I'm going to select my create area clearance toolpath. I'm going to make sure I'm on selected vectors and that my finish depth is 8 millimeters. I'm going to set my tolerance as 0.01 and I'm going to add firstly a 12 millimeter end mill tool followed by a 6 millimeter end mill tool followed by a 1.5 millimeter end mill tool. So what this tool does with the area clearance is it starts off with the 12mm end mill tool and then anything that the 12mm end mill tool misses the 6mm tool will do and then the 1.5mm end mill tool will finish off the bits that the other tools have missed to leave a clean design. Rather than just using the 1.5mm tool this will speed up machining time. I'm going to change my safe Z to 10 millimeters. So there'll be 10 millimeters of clearance when the tool retracts. And I'm going to set my material up to be 12 millimeters. Also gonna make sure that material Z0 is on top of the block. Select OK leave the name as area clearance and select calculate now so if we just zoom in to take a look at what's been produced first of all we have our 12 millimeter end mill tool then here is our 6 millimeter end mill tool followed by our one and a half millimeter end mill tool if I next select area clearance and select simulate and select simulate toolpath will simulate the area clearance for us. So here we can see the raised text within our design. The next tool I'm going to create will be a bevel toolpath. So I'm going to turn back on my vectors, turn off my light bulb here for my toolpaths within the 3D view. So the next thing I'm going to do is select my toolpaths, come to bevel carving, and I'm going to come across to the 2D view, or in the 3D view actually select my text vector itself, being careful not to select the other toolpath. I'm going to select a finish depth of 7 millimeters, and I'm going to select a carving tool which is going to be a 32 millimeter 130 degree v-bit tool. I'm going to leave everything else as the same. I'm going to select calculate now. So it's just selecting or creating a prof a v so it's just calculating creating a bevel carving toolpath around my design for me. If I close this toolpath down, select bevel carving and then simulate, we can see what will have been produced here by the bevel carving text effect. So you'll see we've got a sort of pyramid shape text by using a tool geometry. Now this is created, we will move on to our reception text. So I'm going to turn on our reception text and zoom in to the bottom here. And what I'm going to use is a V-bit carving tool itself. 
So I'm going to come across to tool paths, B bit carving tool. And I'm going to use selected vectors. And I'm going to turn off limit to depth. I'm going to just allow the tool geometry to allow how deep it's going to cut. I'm going to select a carving tool, which is going to be a 32 millimeter 90 degree tool. And I'm just going to select calculate. I'm going to select the cross arrow here. Come to VBit carving tool and select the simulation toolpad. So we're creating a VBit carving tool over our reception text. As we can see here, we have our VBit carving text so far created. The next thing I'm going to do is again turn on all of my vector visibility, select this first hole here, shift select this next hole over here, and I'm going to create a drilling toolpath. To create the drilling toolpath, I'm going to select toolpaths and come to my drilling icon over here. I need this to cut the full depth possible and the tool I'm going to use will be an end millimeter, a 12 millimeter end mill tool. I'm going to leave everything else as it is apart from the name where I'm going to put drill and select calculate now. Again I'm going to close this, select my drill toolpath and select calculate now and simulate. So there we have a hole drilled right through our design for mounting this to the wall. To finish this off we just need to create or to cut the shape out of our design. So I'm going to come to my vector visibility, select my saw mill shape border, come to tool paths and select my profiling tool path. And again, I'm going to leave this to 12 millimeters to cut everything out. I'm going to select my tool and my tool that I'm going to use to cut this out is going to be a end mill tool of six millimeters that I'm going to use and I'm going to add lead in and lead out moves to this and I'm going to enter a distance here of 12 millimeters to lead into this to create an arc and making sure that I have selected arc and again I'm going to type in 12 in the radius itself and I'm going to select generate so what this done is it's allowed the toolpath to actually arc in go around cut and arc out to prevent damage from the tool from creating sharp movements by going in plunging in and going around it will slowly lead into my design come round, and eventually it will lead back out I'm going to close this down I select my profile toolpath and I'm going to simulate this. So there we can see our cutout sign. Again, to finish this off, we just need to put some bridges or tabs in place. So if I select the plus arrow on my profile, select my six millimeter end mill tool and select the profiling options, if it's not showing, I can press F6 on the keyboard. And I'm going to type in the first number four. So I'm going to have four of these bridges. The length is going to be 12 millimeters and the thickness will be one millimeters. I'm going to make sure they are 3D bridges. I'm going to select create my bridges. Now if I come over to the 3D view, I can see exactly where it's placed these and I can drag them round into flatter spots to make it easier to cut out afterwards. Come back to the 3D view and I'm just going to select apply and close. So then 
if I toolpaths at the top right click and press delete simulation at the top if I come to toolpaths and right click I can simulate all of the toolpaths together so here's my area clearance this will then be followed by my bevel toolpath then I'll VBIT carve my reception text into place and then finally run a profiling cut around this but if I now zoom in I can now see I have bridges created again if I want to change the material of this I can select the graphics options this eye here and change to a more wooden effect and select apply and close and we have our wooden effect sawmill sign created using multiple toolpaths and if I wanted to save this out I come to toolpaths right click save toolpaths as and I could save them individually or if I have a tool changer I could save them all together to one of my numerous machines if required